The history of Exadata in the platform is, is really unique. And from my vantage point, it started earlier this century as a skunk works inside of Oracle called Project Sage, back when grid computing was the next big thing. Oracle saw that betting on standard hardware would put it on an industry curve that would rapidly evolve. Last April, for example, Oracle announced the availability of Exadata X9M in OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. One thing that hasn't been as well publicized is that Exadata on OCI is using AMD's EPYC processors in the database service. EPYC is not Eastern Pacific Yacht Club for all you sailing buffs, rather it stands for Extreme Performance Yields Computing, the enterprise grade version of AMD's Zen architecture, which has been a linchpin of AMD's success in terms of penetrating enterprise markets. And to focus on the innovations that AMD and Oracle are bringing to market, we have with us today Juan Loiza, who's Executive Vice President of Mission Critical Technologies at Oracle, and Mark Papermaster, who's the CTO and EVP of Technology and Engineering at AMD. Juan, welcome back to the show. Mark, great to have you on theCUBE in your first appearance. Thanks for coming on. All right, Juan, let's start with you. You've been on theCUBE a number of times, as I said, and, and you've talked about how Exadata is a you know, top platform for Oracle Database. We've covered that extensively. What's different and unique from your point of view about Exadata Cloud Infrastructure X9M on OCI? Yeah, so as you know, Exadata, it, it's designed top down to be the best possible platform for database. Uh, and it has a lot of unique capabilities, like we make extensive use of RDMA, smart storage. We take advantage of you know, everything we can in the leading uh, hardware platforms. And X9M is our next generation platform, and it does exactly that. We're always wanting to be to get all the best that we can from the available hardware that uh, our partners like AMD produce. And so that's what x 9 is. It's, it's faster, more capacity, lower latency, more IOs, pushing the limits of the hardware technology. So we don't want to be the limit. The software, the database software should not be the limit. It should be uh, the actual physical limits of the hardware. And that, that's what X9M is all about. Why one AMD chips in X9M? Uh, yeah, so we're, we're uh, introducing uh, AMD chips. We think they provide outstanding performance, uh, both for OLTP and for analytic workloads. And it's really that simple. We just think the performance is outstanding in the product. Yeah, Mark, your career is quite amazing. I could riff on history for hours, but let's focus on the Oracle relationship. Mark, what are the relevant capabilities and, and key specs of the AMD chips that are used in Exadata X9M on Oracle's cloud? Well, thanks, and and uh, it, it's really uh, the basis of I think the great partnership that we uh, have with Oracle on Exadata X9M, and it and that is that the uh, AMD technology uses our third generation of Zen processor. Zen was you know architected to really bring high performance you know back to x86, a very very strong roadmap uh, that we've executed you know on schedule to our commitments. And this third generation does all of that. It uses a seven nanometer CPU uh, that is a, a you know core that was designed to really bring uh, throughput, uh, bring uh, you know really high uh, efficiency uh, to computing, uh, and just deliver raw capabilities. And so uh, for uh, Exadata X9M, uh, it's really leveraging all of that. So it's really as a balanced processor and it's implemented in a way to really uh, optimize uh, high performance. That, that is our whole focus of uh, AMD. It's where we've you know, reset the company focus on years ago. And uh, again, uh, you know, great to see uh, you know, the, the super smart uh, you know, database team at Oracle really a partner with us, understand those capabilities. And, and it's been uh, just great to uh, partner with them to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, you know, enable uh, Oracle uh, to really leverage the capabilities of the Zen processor. Yeah, it's been a pretty amazing 10 or 11 years for both companies. But Mark, how, how specifically are you working with Oracle at the engineering and product level? You know, and what does that mean for your joint customers in terms of what they can expect from the collaboration? Well, here, here's where the collaboration really comes to play. You think about a processor and, you know, I, I will say, you know, when Juan's team first looked at it, there's general benchmarks and the benchmarks are impressive, but they're general benchmarks. And, you know, and, and they uh, showed, you know, the I'll say the, you know, the base processing capability, but the partnership comes to bear 
uh, when it when it means optimizing for the workloads that Exadata X9M is really delivering to the end customers. And that's where we dive down and, and as we uh, learn from the Oracle team, we learn to understand where bottlenecks could be, uh, where uh, is there tuning that we could in, in, fa in fact uh, really boost the performance above, the, I'll say that baseline that you get in the generic benchmarks. And that's what the teams have done. So for instance, uh, you look at uh, you know optimizing latency uh, to RDMA. Uh, you look at uh, just throughput, optimizing throughput on OLTP and uh, database processing. When you go through the workloads and you take the traces and you break it down and you find uh, the areas that are bottlenecking, and then you can adjust. We have you know thousands of uh, parameters that can be adjusted for a given workload, and that's again that's the beauty of the partnership. So we have the expertise on the CPU engineering. Uh, you know, Oracle uh, Exadata team knows innately uh, what the customers need uh, to get the, the most out of their platform. And when the teams came together, we actually achieved anywhere from 20 percent to 50 percent gains on specific workloads. It was really exciting to see. Mark, last question for you is how do you see this relationship evolving in the future? Can you share a little roadmap uh, for the audience? You bet. Well, well, first off, uh, you know, given the deep partnership that we've had on Exadata X9M, uh, it, it's really allowed us to inform our future design. So uh, in our current uh, third generation Epic EPYC is uh, that is really uh, what we call our Epic ser server offerings. And it's a 7003 third gen in, in uh, Exadata X9M. So what about fourth gen? Well, fourth gen is well underway. Uh, you know, it, and uh, and uh, you know, ready to you know for the for the future. But it incorporates learning uh, that we've done in in partnership with with Oracle. Uh, it's going to have even more through capabilities. It's going to have expanded memory capabilities because there's a CXL uh, Connect Express Link that'll expand even more memory opportunities. And I could go on. Uh, so uh, you know, that's the beauty of a deep partnership as it enables us to really take that learning going forward. It pays forward. And uh, we're very excited to, uh, uh, to uh, fold all of that into our, our future generations and provide even uh, better capabilities to one and his team moving forward. Yeah, you guys have been you know, obviously very forthcoming. You have to be with, with, with Zen and Epic. Juan, anything you'd like to add as closing comments? Yeah, I, I would say that in the processor market, there's been a real acceleration in innovation in the last few years. Um, there was, you know, a big move 10, 15 years ago when multi-core processors came out. And then, you know, we were on that for a while and then things started stagnating. But in the last two or three years, uh, and AMD has been leading this, um, there's been a dramatic uh, acceleration in innovation in this space. So it's, it's very exciting to be part of this and, and customers are getting a big benefit from this. All right, Chance, hey, thanks for coming back in theCUBE today. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, glad to be here. All right, and thank, thank you. you for watching this exclusive CUBE conversation. This is Dave Vellante from theCUBE, and we'll see you next time.